going on YouTube. It has now been officially a week since I got my braces on. Uh, I got them on last Thursday. Um, so getting them on, the pain was not that bad actually. I, uh, I got the Damien braces once again. So it was kind of awkward when they were putting the mouth part in my mouth and the tongue holder. I couldn't really like breathe for the first couple of seconds. Uh, but then you have to kind of get used to it. And then they start putting the blue stuff in your mouth and you start tasting like you're eating acid. But, you know, if once you start focusing on just your breathing, it kind of stops um, the taste in your brain and it kind of helps you relax and then you just, your tongue kind of relax and then at that point you're all good. Uh, she put the glue on my teeth after she cleaned my teeth uh, and then she started putting the brackets on. Now the brackets weren't that bad, you know, she just laid them on each tooth um and after she did that she had the actual dentist or orthodontist come check my mouth out and uh you know he made sure that all the brackets were aligned nicely and perfectly um so then after he gave her the okay that's when she put the wire in now <clears throat> i did personally me i did take a ibuprofen I believe it was a 400 milligram prior to the appointment, just in case there wasn't any pain. But since I took that pain pill, once I got home after getting the braces on, I didn't really feel anything until a couple hours later. But the real pain, it was the next day. That's when I felt the wire and the brackets and I didn't feel my teeth at all. I just felt wire and brackets. Uh, it feels like my lips are sitting on the brackets, uh, but I was told that, you know, the way and how uncomfortable it feels, that means that the wiring, the brackets are properly aligning your jaw, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so the next day I, I started getting like, I felt this really pressure tight feeling, but it wasn't like super tight. It was just like, I could feel the brackets and the wire couldn't really feel my teeth. Uh, I did go buy a milkshake. Okay, so don't take my word for this, but I don't know if it was a, the day after or the couple of days after, but I did go get a shake. And when I tried drinking from the straw, it was okay. But I accidentally, I guess, bit on the straw somewhat. And when I went down to light it, oh my God, I felt all this, all this up here was just, it felt as if my bone was just breaking. I was like instant, just, ooh. I hit with the blue face. I was like, oh, you know, like instantly just all here, just pain, instant. So I haven't tried biting. After that, I waited to bite. But now that I'm officially a weekend, uh, I'm able to eat certain things. I'm still being very, very careful. Um, I haven't tried eating pizza. I haven't tried doing what a lot of people do, eating gum. Uh, I haven't tried eating chips. I've really been on a really strict diet. Jello, mashed potatoes, noodles, um, soup. Uh, tea. I haven't been eating nothing crazy, you know, because one, it's like, I think this is a proper time for me to go on a nice little diet, you know, clear myself, detox. Uh, and I've been wanting to stop eating bad food anyway for a long time. So this is kind of a uh, win-win for me. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> um, But yeah, you know, it's crazy because I've actually been taking care of my teeth properly. Um, you will feel very uncomfortable for the first couple of days. Once you hit like day five, it's not that bad though, to be honest. Uh, once you get used to like the cuts in your gums, because you will get those. You will get cuts in your gums. Facts. Uh, 
But once you get used to that, once you, your lips get accustomed to the way the brackets and the wiring are trying to adjust your jaw, you'll feel your aesthetic in your face a little bit. Even when you talk, like, it's more, you feel me like, boss, you, you don't feel it. You don't know what I'm talking about. It'll feel uncomfortable at first, but once you get used to it and your talking isn't as lispy, I mean, it's still gonna be lispy, but you won't feel it being as lispy. It might sound lispy, but you won't feel it being lispy. That means your alignment and your jaw is actually getting better. Positive thing. Um, but yeah, me, I actually waited uh, yesterday. So right before I hit a week, I, I actually flossed for the first time with wire. Uh, I do water pick, brush teeth, the whole thing. I will do a uh, how I clean my braces video uh, probably sometime next week whenever I'm free. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I usually just water pick. But I have this thing where I like feeling the actual wire going in my gums uh, because I feel like the water pick just gets anything that's outside of the teeth. It doesn't actually get in between your gums, you know, plaque, anything that's deeply in your actual gum, healthy gums, healthy teeth, you know, and you can get the surface, you can get the outside, but it's not really getting the inside the way the actual floss does. Uh, I've heard people using the little flossing utensils to go in between each bracket or each tooth. I haven't tried that yet. I might give it a try, but personally, I still like flossing. It's easy for me. I just get the special oral B floss, uh, put it in. You put it up, bam, easy. I mean, it is a little time consuming, but it's like, I'd rather it be time consuming and I clean my teeth properly than not be time consuming. And I got plaque and all this stuff built on my teeth and I'm thinking that I'm getting all this progress, but in reality, my teeth are getting worse. Um, so yeah, personally, like I did, I waited almost a week, started flossing. Felt really good, actually. My teeth felt even more cleaner than they do now. Uh, then I did the first couple of days before I lost and I was just using the water pick. Um, but yeah, you know, I hit a week. They say you won't start seeing actual progress until about four to six weeks. Everyone's different. Uh, I've noticed my bottom teeth though, have gotten a little straighter and I could feel the pressure working on my bottom teeth, like mostly. I haven't felt it as much on the top yet. At the bottom, for sure, I could heal it a lot, which is a good thing. Uh, I've been told from friends who had braces before, you know, uh, it always starts on the bottom usually, and then it starts working on the top later on. And once they start putting on power chains and rubber bands and all those good things, that's when you'll really get efficient changes. But so far, like I said, I just feel it mainly on the bottom. The top is very, very sensitive. It feels like each tooth is loose. Anytime I put pressure like this on it and I push up, each tooth feels like it's loose. It feels like it just pop out, which means that the tooth is so vulnerable that it's starting to move, which is it's progress. It's a good thing. Um, so yeah, you know, it's just a week update on how things are going. It's the bottom, you know, tosh. Yeah, so, you know, um, I do recommend uh, my fiance, you know, she put me on this. I do recommend getting this. I mean, you you don't have to get this. You can get anything else, but this is just what I get. The pear flavor, you know what I'm saying? And it helps with the lips, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, if you ain't drinking a lot of water, which a lot of y'all not, you feel me? You get the lip stuff, you know, put the lip balm on. Your lips be like this, you know what I'm saying? It'll be popping. You can't be having them dry, crusty lips because if you have dry, crusty lips, it's going to be way more obvious you have braces on. I promise you. So it was like Bob Wire has been cutting your mouth all day and that is unpleasant to stare at. But yeah, you know, so this is just a week update. Uh, I will be doing a uh, routine on how I clean my teeth and my braces. Do that sometime in a later week. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to do little videos here and there, but mainly I'm going to start doing mainly like monthly updates every couple months. I won't do like every day or anything like that, you know, because obviously it's kind of fun to do a daily video. But maybe I'll see other things coming up. You know, maybe other videos I might do. We'll see. Depending on if I'm busy or not. Uh, I do got a life. So we'll see. But uh, yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for uh, subscribing. For those who have subscribed. It's just a little. Pretty much a little journal for myself. And for the people who want to tune in on my. 
on my adventure of trying to straighten these things that I've wanted to straighten for a couple of years now. And I'm on that journey, you know, so stay with me. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the people who do watch. Love all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so have a good day and see y'all later.